go to Ryan Felsman over at Comsec. How are we shaping up today, Ryan? Good morning, Pete. SPY futures are indicating that the ASX 200 index will lift by 32 points or 0.4% at the open. That's after a positive lead in from Wall Street overnight. With about 10 minutes left of trade, we've got the Dow Jones index up by 440 points or 1%. The S&P 500 index is straddling record highs. It's up 0.7%. And the tech heavy NASDAQ index is up by 100 points or 0.6%. We have seen investors digest the latest US Federal Reserve meeting minutes from September. A substantial majority back the decision to cut interest rates by a jumbo 50 basis points. We've got the latest inflation data due tonight in the US as well. We saw technology shares lift by 1% last night with Apple shares up 1.6%. We also saw financials leading gains up 0.8% with the big banks due to report on Friday. Norwegian Cruise Lines was the strongest performer on the S&P 500 index up 10.6% after a broker upgrade from Citigroup on earnings upside. And we also saw US listed Arcadium Lithium shares up by 30.6% overnight on Rio Tinto's 6.7 billion US dollar deal for the lithium miner. The Aussie dollar is currently trading at 67.15 US cents. We have seen US crude prices under some pressure. The oil price in the US was down 0.4% to 73.24 US dollars a barrel with crude inventories lifting. Gold futures have fallen as well for a six straight down 0.4% to 2626 US dollars an ounce. And iron ore futures are up 0.2%, Pete, to 106.53 US dollars a tonne on Chinese stimulus measures. Thank you, Ryan.